Good morning, it is breakfast time. So I'm gonna make my pancakes that I have most weeks. They're vegan, uh, it's kind of based off a happy pear recipe, but yeah, it's a bit adapted. So first thing I'm gonna do is make a little kind of jam compote thing. So I've got some frozen berries here. I'm just gonna put them on a low heat and just start to get them going. I'm gonna add some maple syrup to them just to get them going. Okay, so the pancake recipe, uh, I'm gonna do it in a blender. You can do it by hand, uh, but yeah, it's a bit easier to do it in a blender. Um, so yeah. You need half a banana. These aren't really as ripe as I'd want them, but they'll have to do. So yeah, these are quite small bananas. We're gonna do like that much. Um, what else do I need? Flour. I have just woken up, so I'm a bit tired. You need 120 grams of flour. Self-raising, I use just, it's easy. That's 130, oh well. This recipe is pretty forgiving, I think, so you can always, um, Adapt it as you go. Maybe like half a teaspoon of of uh, baking powder, just to give it that extra lift. I need some almond milk. I need two hundred ml of almond milk. Do a bit over because. So this makes my breakfast for one. Then you need some liquid sweetener. I've got some golden syrup that I'm gonna use, maybe a few tablespoons. And then I'm gonna use a bit of maple syrup as well. You could use honey as well, or agar agar, or whatever really. A little pinch of salt. And some lemon juice and tahini. Lemon juice and tahini. A bit of lemon juice. And about three or four teaspoons of tahini. So tahini is uh, roasted uh, and then paste whizzed up sesame seeds. So it's just kind of like, it's like sesame seed butter. So instead of tahini, you could use like almond butter or peanut butter, um, or even just like a little bit of vegetable oil. This is basically just here for the, the fat and the oil, just to kind of help it. Yeah, it'll emulsify in, and um, I think it helps with browning as well, as does the sugar. Okay, so the berries are starting to, to defrost, so I'll just move them out. They'll start to release their own juices and then they'll basically cook down in in, in, in of themselves. So yeah, I think that's everything for the for the, the pancake mix. Just before I put that on, I'm gonna put my pan onto it. You want to make sure your pan is preheated really well. You don't want any kind of cold spots on your pan, otherwise the first pancake will be terrible. The first pancake is always a bit rubbish, but you can help that by preheating your pan for a while. All right, let's blend this up. Thank you. 
dude. Keep these berries going. So yeah, these will just defrost and start to reduce down. I might break up that big strawberry. Um, yeah. Check out this pancake mix. Oh, it's quite thick. That's all right, actually. I'm going to make thicker ones. So yeah, this batter does suit itself to kind of thicker, more American-style pancakes. They are super light, which I really like, actually. Um, but yeah, it's definitely not a thin crepe batter. For that, you'd want more... Yeah, you, you need a bit more structure, I think. So... Um, less banana. The banana really kind of makes it really thin. Uh, so yeah, if you want to do a crepe, a crepe batter, then you probably want to change it up a little bit. For uh, oil, I'm going to use coconut oil. I think it tastes nice and yeah. So yeah, that pan is preheating right now. Just uh, Bit of oil in there. So yeah, as I say, the first pancake is probably going to be rubbish, but we'll give it a try. And yeah, usually, well, it depends. Sometimes with my pancakes, I'll like cook and eat as I go. But today, because I've made this and because I'm doing the video and I want a nice thumbnail, I'm going to make them all, stack them up, add the compote jam thing, and then eat them all together. Um, yeah, you can do it however. If you want to do even more, you could have like three or four pans on the go. And it means you can get through that whole pancake batter like super quick. Um, but today, yeah, on other days I'd have like maybe even make mini pancakes and then you can just like whip them off with maple syrup, some banana, maybe some peanut butter and there you go, you've got a pretty easy breakfast. Let's see if this pan's hot enough. So decide how big I'm going to go with the... Go that big. And there you go, that pan was definitely hot enough. Uh, it really is a game of trial and error with pancakes. Uh, as you do more and more, you get to know how hot you want your pan. Um, every gas burner is different. I have mine pretty much straight down on this dial. Um, yeah, you're just gonna need to practice. You're gonna make some bad pancakes, but that's all right. So just practice and, and you'll get there. I use a little, I don't even know what that's called spatula palette knife thing uh, just because it's nice and easy to get under so and these pancakes do cook quite a lot I think there's because there's quite a lot of sugar in them because of the banana and the liquid sweetener they kind of they brown up quite nicely which I really like my jam's doing pretty good so yeah this will thicken as well as you go as it finishes defrosting it'll thicken up so yeah you'll see bubbles start to form when you see the bubbles, I would say start having a check for these pancakes and you, it's going to be quite hard to show you on the GoPro, but yeah, that is starting to brown. So I always go on the brown side with these and you can hold them a bit longer because it's still a little bit liquidy on top. But yeah, pancakes, they're easy. It's good technique to learn them. Uh, you learn about cooking, you learn about how things caramelize and yeah, they're cheap and easy to to make mistakes on so just flip and there you go and then you don't need as long on the other side um, but yeah once I've done this one then I'll just rattle through them all I'll just speed up the video and then I'll join you when they're all done
Okay, so the last pancake coming off. I think that's four pancakes there, so yeah, five all together this makes. And yeah, it just depends how big you want it. If the batter is a bit wet on top, then you'll get that, but it's just more yummy bits for when you're cooking, so don't worry about it. This jam has actually turned out real nice. Nice, it thickened up quite a bit. You see, you run your spoon through it and it leaves a trail, so that's nice. Get this mini pancake cooking. And if you don't like the trails, you can just kind of bang them off like that, but I like them, they're tasty, so let them cook. So as I've been going, I've been sandwiching peanut butter in between them just for some protein and some fat and some tastiness. You could sandwich, well I mean you could, there's endless possibilities for pancakes. I might make this recipe later with a savoury version and have it with like avocado and um, hummus or something like that. Uh, if you want to see that, but yeah, right now it's just normal breakfast for me and berries and maple syrup and stuff, so. Right, that's one done. Boom. So, get fruity. Sometimes this is a bit thinner and it kind of runs more, uh, which would probably look better in a thumbnail, but today it's just a thick bit of jam. I'm gonna finish with a bit more maple syrup. And then I'm gonna go get a thumb. Right, let's give these a taste. See if you can get some berries on it. Oh yeah. So nice. Yeah, the berries really just make it like... Still a bit tart, but... A bit of sweetness in the maple syrup and... With these type of pancakes, they just go awesome. So, mmm, how we feel up today? There you go, easy pancake recipe. Try it at home. See if you muck up your pancakes. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you next video.